Nine more of these and we are at 100 behind the scenes video tours from the temporarily closed Lake Superior Railroad Museum at the St. Louis County Depot here in downtown Duluth. Today we're going to introduce you to Corey Hackbarth. Corey is our assistant curator. She's our educator, archivist, and librarian. So as you can see, she's a very hardworking individual, and we're very happy to have her. Now that we're starting to get ready to open the museum and welcome everybody back on July 1st for train rides and to tour this beautiful historic building, Corey's come back on, and she's going to help do some of our video tours as well. Welcome back. Thank you, Ken. Today we are going to talk kids stuff and we do kids tours here and there's always a lot of the same questions that kids have. So today we're going to answer those questions and I'm going to show you a few secrets that a lot of people do not know about here. Hi, welcome to the Railroad Post Office car. It's one of my favorite cars in the collection. This car is a mobile post office. It was attached to the train at the front of the train and it would go along to all the different stops and deliver mail. So the cool thing about this car is there's actually two halves to it. This is only half of it. The other half on this side of the wall is a baggage component. So if the train is moving, how do you get to that side if you work in this car? There's no door. <gasps> but there is. It's a secret. Look, it's a secret door under the counter. Hi, now we're in the Railroad China car, and we're in this car today because a lot of the railroad companies had special china for kids. What's china? It's a fancy name for pretty kids' dishes. This is a great northern plate. Look at how awesome the detail is on these animals that are going around the outside. And they also had children's menus. So on the back, it's all the different foods that they had for kids. They had special items you could order, but look, when you flip it over, all of a sudden, it's Rocky the Great Northern Goat Mask. Wouldn't this be fun to wear out today? This is the number one question asked by kids on kids tours. What is this? Most people refer to it as a cow catcher, but real railroaders call it a pilot. It's a triangular frame on the front of the locomotive to help move objects off the tracks. If there's something on the tracks and the train hits it, it could derail, so it helps solve that problem. It goes by several different names. Cow catcher, cattle catcher, but my favorite is cow plow. Why is cow so prevalent in the names of this? Well, back when it would go through farmlands, there would be lots of cows on the tracks. So this was here to help gently persuade the cows to move off the tracks and let the train go through. Welcome to the caboose. Everybody loves a caboose. Come on in. Kids especially love cabooses because they're small houses on wheels like a playhouse. You have beds, you have a table where you can work or eat, you have a stove where you can cook food or stay warm, and you have running water. What? Running water on a caboose from 1911? Right here, there are two canisters. The front canister you would fill with water, and the back canister you would fill with ice. The faucet is attached to the front canister with the water on it, so you would turn the faucet and water would come out. Brilliant! 1911. Love it. So, you're cooking, you're eating, you're sleeping on here. You need to keep your food somewhere. Let's see. Nope, that's just a cupboard. Aha, here it is. This is called an ice box. It, I know that because it's lined in tin. They would take a big chunk of ice from the ice car, put it inside here with their milk and butter, and it would stay fresh. But once the ice melted, you'd have to get more. So one of the biggest questions from kids, because we're living on the caboose, is where's the bathroom? Let me show you. It's right back here in the corner. Are you ready? Pretty basic, huh? But now you know. The last thing we're going to show you is the cupola. Everybody loves a cupola. You cannot possibly visit here without getting up here to see. Thanks for joining me on the caboose today. And for the whole kids tour, we saw some really fun things today. I hope that you can come and see it yourself really soon. We're hoping the doors will be opening on July 1st. Thanks again. Back to you, Ken. Thank you, Corey. That was great information, and it was a lot of fun, too. 
Join us tomorrow. Corey might be here, I might be here, but we will be here with another one of these episodes just for you. In the meantime, it's very important, now more than ever, if you're sick, stay home. Wash your hands often, cover your coughs, don't touch your face, keep a social distance, and let's take care of each other.